Hey, what's up guys? It's Uni Riggers and it's episode 3 of Team the Week Investing. So, I'm looking at the team right now and I'm not really sure which players I'm actually going to invest in once again. I say this at the start of each episode. And this week it is literally um, a very good team to actually pick from. Because there's good players there but a lot of them are going to be too expensive for me. So, yeah, I'm not sure which players I'm actually going to get. I'm going to go check all their prices right now. But the players that I'm looking at possibly again are the player in right wing. Um, Sigurdsson, maybe the guy in centre mid who's a right mid. Farfan, I'm not sure how much he's going for, so I'll check his price. Leighton Baines, so I'll check him as well. Same for um, the centre-back as well. And then on the bench, there's two players from field going for, and that is Rodriguez and Pukki. Probably butchered Pukki's name there. I'm not really sure if that's how you pronounce it. Hopefully, I am pronouncing it right, though. So, yeah, just going to go check their prices right now and pick a few of them up. So, I'm just going to go through the players I've picked up over the last two episodes quickly. So, for Rodriguez, I paid 12250 for him, and I'm hoping to sell for 16k. For this goalkeeper, I paid 13 k and I'm also hoping to sell him for 16 k For Benitez, his price really isn't changing. So, I paid 20750 for him, and I'm hoping to go for 22 k just so I make, like, 200 coins profit or something like that. Because I think his price may actually start to go down soon. And then for these three players just here, for Gomez, I can make 4k profit on him. For this guy, I can actually make 9k profit the second, so hopefully his price can keep going up. And for Rio Fernand, his price is shooting up, and I can make 10k on him at the second. So hopefully his price can keep going up, because I'm hoping something for about 90k. And yeah, just going into the next bit of the video now. The first player I've decided to buy is this centre-back from Denmark, so I think his price will go up. I've picked him up for 11750 and 41212, so I think that's a pretty good deal, and I'm hoping to make about 3 or 4k profit on him, so hopefully his price can go up over the next few weeks. And yeah, he looks like a pretty good centre-back. The second and also the final player that I've decided to buy is Bane, so I've paid 72 k for him, and I'm hoping his price can go up to about 90 k over the space of a month, so hopefully that can happen, and I'm going to send him to my trade pile right now. So I'm just going to quickly go through the team and explain why I didn't get a few other players. So for Lloris, Farfan, Schweinsteiger, Eto, and Higuain, they were too expensive. For the guy in right wing and also Sigurdsson, they're both being price fixed. For the guy in centre mid who's a right mid, he's around 35k at the second and I can't really see his price going up that much more. And then for the um, right back in defence, I wasn't really sure about him so that's why I didn't get him. And then for the players on the bench, there was two that I was looking at and that was Rodriguez and Pukki. And they were too expensive so I couldn't afford them. So that's why I didn't get some of the players, so I've only gone and picked up two this episode. But hopefully Baines and the other guys price can go up a little bit over the next week. So see you soon, eat riggers, and hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, please leave a like.